morning, folks. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Chop Shop. I'm Rob. For the first, if you ever show up for the first time to uh, hang out here with us, and uh, here we talk shop, uh, whether it be knives or uh, could be a lot of things, self defense, what have you. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well through this whole COVID-19 thing. Uh, prayers to all of you out there who, uh, you know, maybe it's hit a little harder. Uh, just everybody up here uh, always sends our best and, and uh, good thoughts and, and just well wishes to everybody on, on this, uh, you know, in these hard times, these difficult times. Um, really, really, really quick. I've had a number of questions over the past couple of weeks um, about shropping and... I would figure I'd just do a quick, you know, just a real, real, real quick touch on stropping. The funny thing about stropping is in order for you to strop properly, properly, in other words, to get the effects that you're really looking for, you have to have an edge in order to make an edge. Does that make sense to everybody? That means that you can't take a crappy um, um, edge on a blade, in other words, something that hasn't been sharpened uh, and hasn't had a really nice primary put on it and think that you're going to be able to strop it into existence. It doesn't work that way. So you have to actually have one in order to make one. Here, here at the chop shop, uh, we use the uh, best system, and I can talk about that another day. Uh, your best system, you should be somewhere around a 250 or a 350 in order, to get, in order to get started right to take it down to where you're getting into that shaving sharp level. Now, again, sharpening, and I'm going to say this one time, there is no one way. There's no one way. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there that would like to, you know, uh, sell you that they have the best way or they have this way or they have that way and no sharp is sharp no matter how you cut it no pun intended um you got i mean there's a lot of a lot of makers out there that oh i've got a you know i've got a 12 belt system for sharpening all my knives yada 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 whatever listen doesn't matter doesn't matter it really doesn't you know if that works for you great but that doesn't mean it has to work for everybody now, <clears throat> again, that's just to get you up to where you need to be at, okay? Uh, this is my stropping table. This is where all the stropping for everything gets done. So what I've got here is I've just got a piece of leather um, that used to be a belt that was on a grinder. And uh, when it comes to the different types of mediums that people like to use on here, there are all kinds. Uh, I've seen people use wax. I've seen people use, uh, here's some white rouge, jeweler's rouge compound. Uh, I've seen guys use green compound. Uh, I've seen people, you know, use flour, cornstarch. Um, I've seen people use like a really, really fine fiberglass aggregate that literally comes out and it looks like baby powder, kind of. Um, we use a couple different ones up here. I have a tendency to lean towards baby powder, personally, because it doesn't build up on the leather. Um, and, and it doesn't, uh, yeah, you just don't get that same buildup. I'm not really fond of the buildup that you get with Rouge, but that's just me, personally. Uh, now, again, this idea that you have to have an edge first. There has to be something here to work with. Because what stropping does is it takes a good edge and it makes it better. That's it. That's really it. And the more time you put on stropping, the more amazing the edge is going to get. Um, you know... I've often used stropping almost as a kind of like, you know, way to meditate, for lack of a better word, you know, just sitting there, you know, uh, you know, a bottle or a glass of something with you, especially with my personal knives. When I'm working on production stuff or what have you, um, that's different because it's time is time is money. 
So we try to get the best edge we best edge we can as quick as we possibly can so that we can move on and, and, and do what that is to making knives. Uh, so, but when it comes to customs, personal, my personal stuff and custom knives, you know, I like to take my time. I really do. I like to take my time when it comes to shopping and just, uh, you know, work on them. Now, again, shopping, you want, you want the bevel facing away from you and you just want to draw it down. What I watch for a lot of times is I watch to see, you'll notice you'll as you're pulling, if you've got aggregate on the belt, you'll notice that it'll begin to jump up onto the primary. And you'll see it doing that. It'll just hop up on top of it. As as that as that close that edge closes and it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and there's not an awful lot there you'll see the aggregate start to roll up on the edge. That's one thing that I look for. Another thing is, uh, you'll, every once in a while, if you miss a stroke and you'll come in and you'll, and you'll feel the, the, you'll feel the blade, it'll, when it's starting to get real sharp, when it touches that leather, you won't get any slip. You'll feel it bite. That's how you, you know, and again, you don't want to trash your belt. So you'll start to get a little bit more careful about that. Those are the two things that I watch for. Uh, and you can feel it. You could feel that edge beginning to close up and get up there really tight. And again, it's really practice. It's like anything else. You just, the more you do it, the more custom you get to doing it, the more familiar you get with your own kit and the things that you're working with, the stuff that you get comfortable with working with. And again, stropping is like a relationship or like growing something in the garden. The more time you put into it and the more attention you pay to it, better off your, your uh, the sharpness is going to come out, the better off your blade is going to feel for you. So I'm Rob up here at the chop shop talking to you a little bit about stropping. I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, God bless. Just good wishes to everybody in these times. If you guys got any questions for me, you can reach me at rob at star15.com. Peace. God bless.